Hey everyone, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Instant Trailer Review Show. I'm here with my good friend. I'm David. And today we are reviewing Hercules The Legend Begins with Kellen Lutz. And this is not the Hercules movie with The Rock, which everyone is sort of looking forward to, I think, a little more. That's a Brett Ratner movie. Uh, which I say, no, no. Paramount is going to make that movie. This is a Millennium movie. Yep. And this one, uh, the trailer already came out for this one. The Rock one we still haven't seen a trailer for. Yeah. So. So, good on you, Hercules. Legend begins. Getting out first. That's it's. It's a big, big part of it. So let's just dive in. Um. So yeah, this is uh, this is like the first time we're seeing Hercules in a while. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, seen. there was the Disney Hercules in '97. Yeah. There was also the Ryan Gosling starring TV show Young Hercules. Oh my god. There's also the Kevin Sorbo TV show Hercules, which I think are related. There's also a Disney TV show based off the cartoon movie of Hercules. So um, we have right away. We it looks it looks a lot like 300. It does. They're definitely going for like 300 Troy, maybe Game of Thrones. I think Immortals, it's more sword like and Spartacus, which is fitting considering that Joel McIntyre, is, who plays Spartacus in the TV show, uh, is also in this as well. So we have some. So he's typecast. Yeah, so we <laughs> so he's typecast. But but hey, it's if you're gonna be typecast as something, it's not bad to be like totally ripped and yeah. kicking ass all the time. So anyway, um, so we're in Greece, and then um, if we go back a moment, this dude there, is wearing a lion. That's a pretty uh, common thing in the Hercules myths. I think is someone who killed a lion and all the. But he's just straight up wearing a lion's head. I know. It's Those funny. poor animals. That's pretty intense. But that's not Hercules, though. Usually no. Hercules is the one who wears the yeah, lion's head. Yeah, exactly. So maybe this guy's going to get is marked for death, and Hercules is going to take on that lion. I don't know. You never know. But anyway, so there's a little bit of drama going on. Um, there, now that's there's, Hercules. Here's our first shot of, of Mr. Lutz. Now, Kellen Lutz right comes from the Twilight world. I'm a little confused why he's the lead of this movie, only because he's not that big of a star, and there's a lot of people they could have chose from. So maybe it was budget reasons. I mean, um, it's not a $70 million budget. It's not like... I wonder how much was spent on what, though. I think a lot of it went into the effects, to be honest, and the sets and the props and production. Also, fun fact, they shot this movie in Bulgaria. Whoa. So that that's there a little is, cheesy. Yeah. One man chose to follow... Let's go back there. One man... Dared to follow his heart. Now I'm not. Sh- I don't like that. I just. I don't get it. But look at him. He's on a horse. I guess he's following his heart. Look at those but veins, man. He is. He is Hercules. He's. Yeah. He's a demigod. I think it would have been better if you like an adventure. No. Let's like. Let's talk about. Hold on. Let's talk about the director. The same director did Die Hard. His too. name is Rennie Harlan. Yeah, Rennie Harlan. He did some Burn Notice episodes. He also did Cliffhanger. He did um, Die Hard Two. I mean, Die Hard 2 is a pretty good action movie. So I think we can expect at least some good action. I think he knows how to choreograph a good fight or two. Um, so that's the woman he's in love with, as yes. we can tell by this sexy kiss that's about to come up. Kissing. Um, Do you want to talk about the kiss anymore? No, I think that's. I think there's a lot of that going to be in the movie. A lot of kissing? Yeah. Do you think, it's going to be, do you think this is going to be more action or more like Game of Thrones... Like I think it's going to be a lot of social commentary. No, I'm kidding. It's going to be action. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, but in, with Hercules. Uh, oh, no. my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continuing on. Moving on. Oh, man, that would be great. You should write that. All right, so we have, a, like, a lot of this right now is showing us every sort it's of staple kinda... from the sword and sandal. We got, like, the king, who seems a little mad. We have yeah. the... the um, I stand before you, kneeling, like, yeah. all these kind of classic tropes. I mean, Game of Thrones is, like, one of the most popular things yeah. in culture right now. Um, and I definitely, th- this, this movie's been playing <clears throat> on that a lot. Oh, yeah, it's definitely playing to, I think, people's interest in that in that world, um, that time period, whether it's historically accurate or, or fan- more fantasy-based. But, yeah. But anyway, so Hercules is going to get shipped off to Egypt, and he's just, he's not really, he's not really stoked about it. He seems kind of bummed. So, so we have more 300 fighting. It's uh, it's pretty green screen. Yeah. Now he's exiled, as we've been told. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna fight. 
and he doesn't just fight. He really, he really kicks some ass. Because I mean, he's Hercules. He hasn't really reached his full potential though yet. He's definitely so drawing from the Gladiator movie. Yeah. And the Zack Snyder slow mo. I'm not a fan of that because Zack but Snyder. But that's pretty awesome. Like this shot it's right like, here is pretty. Dude, that. Slow mo's been around forever, though. <laughs> it's not like Zack Snyder was the first person to do. Just because Zack Snyder was the first person to like show a head that had been cut off in slow motion, doesn't mean that he's the first. I think this shot's awesome, though. He's just throwing that dude. That actually looks. Now really, in uh, uh, Greek mythology, Hercules is half human, half god, yeah, a demigod, uh, or demigod. And we haven't really seen that in the trailer yet, but I know it's going to come up. They're going to mention it. That's yeah. part of his fate. So there is sort of a like um, they say they're they're talking about you know channeling his his father Zeus's strength. So we're, he's going to get like struck by lightning. He's getting some lightning powers here in a sword. He's in a sword, kind of like Percy Jackson, kind of feel. Um, now that's what I don't get. The producers of the Expendables. Again, that movie's nothing to do with this though. But you know what it is? It's huge action set True. pieces. So, so if you like the Expendables. Then maybe you'll like this. Exactly. I think that's their target audience. Yeah. Hey, I love The Expendables. And The Expendables too. So. Maybe there's some crazy monster in there. Actually, maybe it's like this maybe it's like seem to have any maybe monsters. It's, maybe it's like Expendables 2 and there's going to be a plane that flies through this, will just show flies up in through a this cave. Yeah. That'd be awesome. So this movie seems very... They don't, they don't seem to be showing any gods or any monsters. And this is another Braveheart, like... Inspirational speech that you know we can uh, we can say at soccer games and then go and fight. I don't know. I think I think that this is going to be the more human side of the Hercules story. I think I think it is like Troy, where there's they're not going to show right. gods or monsters. Yeah, I mean, and maybe towards the end, it like he realizes there's something larger out there. You know, but you can see him. Did he, where did he get the sword? Wait, let's go back. I feel like he's. Like conjured a sword, or did someone throw it to him? I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. And then, oh, oh no, it cuts. That's why. Oh, so they put together. And he does Wait, grab does it. Yeah, grab he does it? grab it. Oh, so someone throws him a sword. Someone throws him a sword. All right, now it makes sense. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty awesome shot, though. And then we go slam into the title. It's a pretty good cut. Ah, Hercules. The legend, legend begins, begins, which, you know, that means they want a franchise. Oh, yeah. And it's in real 3D and so, digital 3D. But, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's Summit Millennium, so... January 10. I think I think Summit, first of all, knows what they're doing. Because they have Colin Lutz, who's from Twilight. It's true. They're going to get a lot of women in the audience. They a can lot put of men this, in the audience. This is a great... This is cool. I was, like, pulling all, that, pulling all that stuff down. No, I think... Also, going back, going back to the to his his Hercules body. Um, he said that he wanted to get, like, huge. Like Man of Steel huge? No, bigger. Oh like, my wider. And just, like, really bulk up. But the director said, no, keep your... Well, you need to be able to wield a sword. Up. Yeah. Because a uh, fun fact about Conan, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, he actually got too big and couldn't wield a sword. How could he not wield it? Well, because his biceps were like basketballs, and he couldn't, like, move the sword. At least that's what I read once. Like, he was just, like... There was like a blind spot in his swing. Yeah, that's you got to be flexible for like, gladiator fights, I guess. That's true. Because if you think if you think about it, like all the big guys in those gladiator movies are too slow. <laughs> you need someone who's like nimble. But Hercules has god strength, so he can yes. do some. So I guess uh, I guess if you're a fan of Troy, Game of Thrones, Gladiator, Braveheart, Three Hundred, or or Die Hard Two, or Twilight, or or the Expendables, Burn Notice, or Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, <laughs> <laughs> I guess this movie's gonna be for you. So check it out when it comes out. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 a little doubtful, but I, I I'll say somewhat curious to see it. Definitely, I'll definitely watch the movie, maybe on, like, VOD. I don't know if it'll be... It'll be interesting to see how this compares to The Rock's version, the same way that Deep Impact and Armageddon came out around the I same know, time. It's just, I, love, I love how Hollywood keeps doing this. It's or just, Ants and A Bug's Life. You really these... get an apples-to-apples apples yeah. comparison, so it's cool. So, uh, anyway, let us know. What do you think of Hercules, The Legend continue, or Legend Begins, not continues. That'll it'll probably, continue that'll in the continue. next one, It'll continue, yeah. So let us know what you thought. Uh, comment below and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more trailer reviews. But for Movie Clips, I'm Jimmy. And I'm David. Thanks for watching.